Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a quick review of our Native American tribes before our test tomorrow. So I hope this is helpful for you and please, please note that I'm going to go through things pretty quickly. So I want you to make sure you have your review sheet in front of you and also feel free to rewind and replay the video to make sure that you caught all the information. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to start off with this information here about the, the map and noting where each one of these Native American tribes lived. The Inuit tribe is in the north western part of the, of the North American continent where current day Alaska is. The Kwakutl tribe is in the northwest over near where Canada and um, Washington state is. We have the Pueblo tribe, which is down in the southwest where Arizona is. And then we have the Lakota, and they're in the central part of our country, and they're in states such as North and South Dakota. You can remember Lakota, Dakota. Um, the Iroquois Nation is in the, um, the, I guess, the eastern part of the United States of America and current day Virginia and New York, all the way up through into uh, Canada, into Maine. Uh, you can see they kind of get close to the Great Lakes region as well. This map is our North American Geographic Regions map. I want to just recap these regions real quick. Um, region number one is the Coastal Range region. Region two is the Basin and Range region. Region three is the Rocky Mountain region. Region 4 is the Great Plains. Region 5 is the Interior Lowlands. Region 6 is the Appalachian Highlands. Region 7 is the Coastal Plains. And Region 8 is going to be the Canadian Shield. And all of these different regions are important because when we know about the regions and we know from our other map where those Native Americans lived, we know a lot about what they had around them, what the weather was like, what the land was like, what they had to use, and even the types of animals that might have lived in those areas. So let me switch on my program real quick here and we're going to recap all of these different tribes that we talked about this week. Remember that the Inuit lived in the Canadian Shield in the northern Rocky Mountains. We see here that they used lots of seal skin and other animal skins to um, keep them warm because it was very, very cold. During the winter and when they were in, on a hunt, they would make homes called igloos that were made out of ice and snow. Otherwise, they had huts that were made out of skin, especially seal skin, and they would um, build these homes and they would live here more permanently. They did a lot of hunting. They had a, high, a diet high in um, meat, proteins, and fats because they burned a lot of calories. They ate fish, they um, ate seal, they ate whale, and they also would dig for um, mussels like clams and oysters and that type of thing. Just to recap real quick, our facts on the Inuit tribe are that they lived in igloos during the winter hunt and hide, and hide huts other times. That's sort of an awkward sentence. The family units were very important. They ate mostly a diet of meat high in calories and fat, used furs and skins to stay warm, lived in the harshest climate known to man, lived in large villages, and shared food with everybody in the village. The Quackutal tribe lived in the coastal range region. Mostly, um, they are going to be a tribe made up of people that, that did use different um, fibers of trees and things like that in order to weave their clothes. They also would trade with other tribes for, for the Europeans and they came over for cloth. They uh, used a lot of cedar in both their clothing and their homes. These are This is the tribe that had lots of different um, masks when they did the dances and the, and the different worship ceremonies. And also they carved those elaborate totem poles and um, had those all over the place. They had those totems in front of their homes and in the front of their villages. They lived in the cedar plank homes. And those cedar plank homes had paintings on the front of them. And remember, that was um, for, again, religious reasons. They felt like it protected them. Then also, they uh, had a lot of 
boat travel because they're right there on the coast of the Pacific Ocean. Here's some more pictures of their boats that they had here at the top. They also would do um, fishing and hunting. Not a lot of farming going on in this region. And um, they did some gathering of different foods to supplement their diet to include mussels and seaweed and things like that. They had a lot of different gods that they worshipped. Here's some of the masks that they wore. Uh, they also did, um, they wove their uh, hats out of that cedar um, fibers and made basket hats. Here's our quick recap. The Quackutal tribe lived in cedar plank homes with bark roofs. They fished, hunted small game, and gathered for food. They made boats of large trees. They made clothes and hats of cedar chips, made huge totem poles, painted and carved elaborate faces on buildings and totem poles, many ceremonies to different gods, and they lived in large villages. The Pueblo tribe lived in the Basin and Range region. The Pueblo tribe here, we see different people. Their clothing is more um, more like cotton and, and um, like cloth. They made pottery so that they could store food and carry water. We see the ladies that have the pots on their heads here. They, they have a lot of our um, Mexican influence once the, those Spanish explorers came over. They lived in homes called adobe homes, which are made out of dried bricks of um, clay and mud and um, straw and things like that. Those adobe homes were on the top of mazes and plateaus and also in the sides of the cliffs. And we see here some pictures of those homes and the adobe stove that the woman is cooking out of here. They did do farming, not a lot of farming. Um, because the ground was very, the environment's very severe, they still did hunt a lot. Um, what they did farm, however, was corn, beans, and squash. They also came up with irrigation systems and special ways of farming so that what they could get done, they did so with um, a lot of success or as much success as they could. They were very famous for their turquoise and silver jewelry, and they wore those beads um, for religious reasons. They lived in adobe homes called Pueblos. They farmed squash, corn, and beans and hunted deer and small game. They developed irrigation canals due to dry climates. They made pottery and turquoise and silver jewelry. They cooked outside in adobe stoves, and they built homes on top of and in the cliffs of mesas, and they did a lot of walking for transportation. Moving on to the Lakota tribe, they lived in the Great Plains and in the interior lowlands. These are the Native Americans that we typically think of when we think about Native Americans in movies. They had the large um, war bonnets that had lots of feathers. They wore, both the men and women wore their hair long. They depended on the buffalo for everything. The buffalo was their source of food, their source of clothing. It helped with their shelter. Um, and we see their clothing here. That was my dog, Abby. They, we see their clothing here um, is made out of um, the hides of animals and also some cloth. They lived in teepees because these were houses that could be packed up quickly and moved. They were considered a nomadic people because they traveled around wherever the buffalo were to make sure that they could have all the, all the food that they needed. Um, so here you see a couple of different pictures of some teepees. They would paint on the sides of their teepees, and uh, they were known for their buffalo hide paintings as well as their beadwork. Uh, here we have some pictures of them hunting buffalo, some paintings, and then at the top here are some of the leaders that are in their war bonnets ready to go to war. And some more pictures of the people, a group of men all dressed up in all of their war stuff. And then um, some of the, a painting of some of them dancing here in the corner. Um, we can see um, they're just really excited. They would dance for different ceremonies. And in the bottom, we see some uh, the presentation of a gift to another tribe. The Lakota lived in teepees and were nomadic. They relied on buffalo as a main source of food with berries, potatoes, and fruit that could be gathered to supplement their diet. They rode horses very well. They used spears and bow and arrow. They worshipped many gods that they believed controlled nature. They spent the winter in one area. They wore their hair long, and they were known for beadwork, buffalo hide painting, and their peace pipe making. Finally, the Iroquois tribe. They lived in the Appalachian Highlands in the Coastal Plains region, which is what we're familiar with since it's where we live. 
we see that they did not have a lot of clothing that um, looks like the other tribes. They wore less clothing because they were in an area where it was hot and humid. Um, they wore a lot of deer skin clothing, uh, the breech cloths, the leggings, the moccasins. They had a few feathers on their headgear, but not a lot. Uh, they lived in two types of houses. They lived in their long house where lots of families lived together. And then they also lived in wigwams, which were smaller houses um, in areas where they didn't necessarily clear out enough trees um, to have the large villages. This is the setup of the, of the village. We see that they had farming going on right outside of their gate area. And their farming um, was very successful. They used that three sisters method we talked about in class where the corn grows up in the middle the beans grow on the corn stalk and the squash is around the bottom. Um, so bean corns and corn and squash were the main vegetables that they grew. And then they also hunted deer and other small game. And these are Native Americans that had a lot of access to rivers. And so they used uh, the canoes to travel a lot. They were known for their beautiful beadwork. Here you see a few pictures of some of their beadwork, very intricate designs that they did. Um, and a quick recap, Iroquois lived in homes called longhouses or wigwams made out of wood products. They farmed and hunted. They wore skins for clothing. They were known for their beadwork. They traveled overland on foot and used canoes. They lived in large villages with many families in each house. That's going to be it for our review of Native Americans. I want to remind you to look over some of your geography. Take a look in your interactive notebooks or on our previous blog post for, um, I'm going to specifically tell you that on your test, I'm going to ask about the continents that touch the Pacific Ocean. And I'm also going to ask you some of the geographic features that we looked at. There's going to be an interactive question where you have to match the word to the picture, kind of like what we did with the cards on the table when we took that quiz. So look through, the, through that information, and I will see you all tomorrow. Make sure you get all that filled out on your uh, review sheet and bring that in. And if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them in class tomorrow before we take our test. So I hope you all have a good night. See you tomorrow.